Hey you James, um, this is my response to your comments. I, I've always thought of suicide as an insurance policy if things get too hard, because that's what I do, I run away. Uh, I'm generally a coward. But, um, so I can't imagine losing your family and then living on like what how how could you ever be happy again if say all your children died in a plane crash if our society dissolves now i know that there are cycles and i know that each time we go through a cycle it gets a little better it takes a little less time for us to break out of the hole and we get back to the point we were a lot faster um, it's just our evolution, our species, cultural evolution. Um, but I don't know, I just can't imagine an after. How could you ever be happy again knowing that everything was lost? You know, yeah, a cycle might eventually... Uh, things might eventually get better, but what if it takes a hundred years? Two hundred years. You know, uh, what if... You know, just because something usually happens doesn't mean it's going to happen. There's no really no rules of... The universe is neither good nor bad. We can have a tyrant rule for the next one thousand years. I mean, now, it's unlikely, but it could happen. We don't know. Now, of course, that tyrant is not going to live a thousand years, but you get what I'm saying? Uh, there's no rule that says, you know how they say things are going to get a lot worse before they get better? We're assuming they're going to get better. Things might get a lot worse before we vaporize ourselves. Or things might get a lot worse full stop. We're, uh, the cycles that exists exists because of certain parameters for instance um, again we don't know I, I don't know that things are gonna get better I don't know that there's hope and I do believe I don't wanna say I believe in a point of no return but I don't know, maybe this has a drastic this has to do with the drastic difference between how you perceive pain and how I perceive pain. Um not just pain, but loss. Maybe because of how much you suffered you know more about recovering from losing everything than I do. That could be what it is. I don't know. All I know is if everything falls apart, what were we fighting for? There was a book I read back when I was considering becoming a Taoist, and I still have certain Taoist beliefs or philosophies, not the religious crap. One of his students said, Well, even if the world ends, another world will come into existence, might come into existence. And his response to that student was, yes, this world might end, and the cycle of nature might produce another species, another world, another nature. But I like this world. I like these people. I like this nature. That's how I feel. I don't want America to fall. And I, I don't see much after if it does. Yeah, things could get better. But I want these people to survive. I like these people. You know? Um, and I don't want everything, everyone on YouTube and everyone outside of YouTube, who... I don't want that all to go to waste. You know, uh, we're fighting, and 
this was supposed to be the part where it leans left but it's not it's we're still going to the right you know the gays are winning battles but that doesn't matter we're still voting on whether they have the right to marry we shouldn't even be voting on that you know and it's just I don't see a recovery anytime soon it just doesn't I see this if you live through the Holocaust how could you continue living how could you ever be happy again knowing that that many children were burned to death? I can take some comfort in that I didn't see it. I Their screams are not in my memory. I didn't lose my family in the Holocaust. Yeah, the cycle usually ends. That a tyrant doesn't fight for doesn't rule forever, but if you were the ones that are living through that, how could you ever be happy again? I, I can't even fathom that. Uh, the people who are happy again after... The people who were in the Holocaust and lost all their loved ones. Oh, there was this... Uh, I don't know how this came to the Holocaust... Oh, the tyrant thing. Basically, I can't imagine going through the Great Depression and coming out anything but ruined. Maybe it's because I'm not strong. And I'm not strong. I'm weak. Um... But, you know, I'm trying to change that so that I can help other people rather than just myself, you know. But my point is, if this society falls apart, then what were we fighting for? If we get pushed into a 100-year slide down back into tyranny, then what, were, what was anything we were doing? What was the point of it? Now, I know that things are going to get bad eventually, even if things get better now. But at least there's a gap in time between that. That's all we're trying to create. At the end of the third Matrix movie, the Matrix asked the Oracle, How long do you really think this piece is going to last? And she said, As long as it can. Um... I want some span of time where we have accomplished our goals, whether it be 50 years or 100 years before things start to slip into nothingness or slip backwards. Um, and it doesn't look like that's going to happen. It looks like everything's going to fall apart before, before we even get anywhere, anywhere further before we get past this point. Um, and that breaks my heart because I don't know uh, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna send another video to you um, it's probably gonna be unlisted because I talk about some personal stuff and I might I'm, I'm gonna send you the link the link um, so yeah Till my next video, try to make the world a better place, and I will too.